Uh, another um, uh, soon-to-be competitor of sorts is coming from within your shop, and actually, uh, this one, you were run into paper, and that is the mm -hmm. Ezra Klein vertical right. that's been created at Vox. I'm fascinated by how the business that we're in has evolved over time. It used to be that the only brand that mattered was the institutional brand, and the individual brands were, were subordinated to the institutional brand. Now the individual brands these days have been more like rocket boosters for the institutional brands. And some individual brands like Ezra want to be rockets unto themselves. And so Ezra Klein, somewhat famously in our world, came to the post and said, I want to start my own vertical within the paper. And uh, paper declined to, to fund that or to do it, and so he left and some people left with him. Talk about how you think about that from a competitive standpoint. I guess it's sure. early to tell. We don't well, haven't let me, seen let it. Let me correct you, first yeah. of all, yeah. okay? He did not come to us and say, I want to start my own vertical in the paper. He already had started his own vertical within the paper called Wonk Wonk Log, Log, yes. which we funded at the tune to the tune of millions of dollars per year, yeah. okay? Uh, I'm not sure a lot of people heard of Ezra Klein before he was working at the Washington Post and before we mm. funded that operation. Very right. talented guy, but uh, we invested in that, and we're investing even more in that. And there isn't one thing that he requested for that uh, that venture that we did not fund, did not fund. including for 2014. Yeah. So when he came to us, it was not to say that I want to start a vertical inside of the Washington Post. In fact, what he said is, I intend to start a venture outside of the Washington Post, totally independent. This has nothing whatsoever to do with the Washington Post. Uh, I will be the CEO. I will be the president. I will be the uh, editor in chief. I will select the um, the, technolo the technology that's used, and I will select the advertising. I will be in charge of the advertising as well. And what I would like to know is whether Jeff Bezos would be willing to fund that. That's what happened, yeah. okay? Not, I want to start something or expand something within the umbrella of the Washington Post, so that's not what occurred. Well, of course, the perception out in the world was that somehow you let him go. But the reality is it sounds like from your description of it that he was, he was planning to go anyway. It's just a question whether you were going to be the... It pains me to say this, but yeah. sometimes the reporting is not accurate. Yeah. So um, <laughs> uh, that, was not, that was not accurate, yeah. um, reporting. It left a gross misimpression. Right. He did not ask to do anything. Yeah. Uh, the first person he came to at a senior level was me. Yeah. And the first thing he said is, I'm going to, I want to start a news organization independent of the Washington Post, my yeah. own news organization. And yeah. what I would like to know is whether Jeff Bezos is willing to fund this. Now, Jeff Bezos had already just invested $250 million in the Washington Post right. with an intention of investing even more in it, as he is doing this year. He also has an investment in Business Insider, and he has increased his investment in the Business Insider site. Right. So I don't know. It's up to Jeff Bezos whether he wants to invest in something else right. uh, when Ezra Klein raises his hand. Not for me to say. But the truth yeah. is, there is I don't have a venture capital fund available to me. Uh, I have my newsroom budget. Right. And uh, when somebody comes and says, I would like to start this and the amount of money required is 10% of what my newsroom budget is, well, I am not able to fund that. Uh, yeah. The owner of the company, the person who owns 100% of the company, is the only person who can make that decision. And as I said, yeah. it was never it was never his intention to start within the Washington Post. It was always his intention to start to outside, outside of the Washington Post.